Okay, right. Good afternoon, everybody, and uh, welcome to the uh, Pride Awards event. And this is obviously um, for um, team members within um, school, uh, education inclusion in terms of our service. Um, so it's good to have everybody on, 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 to, on the call this afternoon. So welcome. Um, in terms of who we've got um, with us on the call, um, if we just bring up the next slide, Chloe, that would be great. Uh, obviously, we've got myself, uh, Andy Lancashire, Service Director for Education and Inclusion. We've got Steve McMullen, who's the Head of Service for Education, Strategy and Performance. We haven't got Julie Killey, who's had to give her apologies, unfortunately, Head of Service for Inclusion, Strategy and Performance. Uh, but we do have Jackie Roper, who's the Head Teacher of the Virtual School. We do have Sue Sharp, who's Service Manager with SENS. And we also have Abby, Ali, Abby Mulligan, who's also our service manager for alternative provisions. So they're all on the call today to see um, and meet with um, um, the nominees. So if we can then move on to uh, the next slide, Chloe, that would be lovely. OK, so in terms of um, the awards that we've got today, so we've got um, our uh, champions of change we've got our top team and we've got our excellent employee and just to give you a, a sort of rundown as to what those are about so champions of change this is is given to an individual or team that has developed innovative solutions to cha change service delivery helping us to be enterprising dedicated and efficient in delivering excellent services top team can I just make sure that everyone's um, just on silent, if that's everyone's muted, please, and then we can, that's brilliant, sounds a lot better. Uh, top team, this is awarded to a team that has shown real dedication to delivering their objectives, achieving outstanding results for their customers, both internal and external. Team of the year will also be able to demonstrate a real commitment to the council values. And finally, the excellent employee, um, is awarded to someone who's made a significant difference to the delivery of a service through commitment and contribution to their role and team. Okay, uh, <clears throat> still getting quite a bit of feedback or noise, I think, in the background. Is everybody just on mute at the moment? Okay, we'll move on. It sounds like we've got a ticking clock in the background somewhere on the lines. Um, okay, um, moving on. So in each award, we're going to have a winner. We're going to have someone who's highly commended. And then the other nominees will all receive a certificate of appreciation. Um, so Chloe will be in contact. My PA, Chloe Slater, will be in contact after the event with all the winners to collect their certificate and prize and for photographs to be taken. And then in terms of highly commended and certificate of appreciation, She's going to send those in the post. And again, she'll be in contact to organise postal addresses as we're all sort of working in a, in a virtual way. So if you can have the next uh, slide, uh, Chloe, please. And we should be on to the Champions of Change Award. And um, I'm just going to run through the nominees for this particular award. And if I can have the uh, next slide, please, Chloe. Okay. And the nominees are the EP service, the Educational Psychologist Service. And the next nominee is Jackie Roper, who is our head of the virtual school. And then finally, the next nomination in our, our, our group of senior school improvement advisors who've been uh, out and about in, in schools across this, across this period have as have our EPs and indeed the virtual school. So moving on to the next slide, please. And the winner is, um, let's have some, where are we now? Onto there. 
just bring myself back into I'm trying to work on two different um, versions so I can see the notes of where we've got. So I'm just going to come back onto full screen view. Um, and there we go back to. Um, so Chloe, sorry, I think I've lost my way here. Just go back to where we were with the nominees. And um, okay, and just take me one slide back again. Brilliant. Okay. And then moving forward, then I've caught myself up. So we've got the nominees. Flip through those. It's all been rehearsed, you can tell. Okay. And first of all, let's go. Right. So now we're on to who is the highly commended. That's right. So I've got myself. Next slide, please. And in this category, the highly commended is the EP service. So congratulations to Alison McCoy and, and her team. Highly commended um, EP service. Um, I don't know if you're on the if you're on the on the call, uh, Alison. If we can get a, a quick reaction from you in terms of being not being highly commended as as a service. Yes, so I've just unmuted myself. So yeah, just to say a massive thank you um, for recognising the work that the EP service have done, particularly during the uh, pandemic. Um, we're really proud of the work we've done and it's really nice to have that recognised as well. So thank you. No worries. Thank you, Alison. And thank you to the team for, for everything that you've done. And if we can then move on to the next slide in terms of Champions of Change Award and the winner is... our senior school improvement advisors. So well done um, to that team in terms of the work that they've done across this period supporting our schools. Um, they, they've worked all sorts of long hours in terms of getting into schools, contacting head teachers uh, and making sure that they feel supported. Um, again, I don't know if we've got anybody from that team on, on this particular call, if they want to just give us a quick response to, to winning the award Champions of Change. Hi Andy, I think uh, myself and Julie, I don't know whether Julie wants to say anything else uh, as well, but uh, uh, well, just very much appreciate it. Are you all right? It's slick as ever, Andy, I have to say, you know, so well done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just had a bit of just had a bit of a senior moment between the slides, but it's all right. We we managed to. I'm sure um, Chloe was cursing me in the background, but anyway, don't worry. We've we've caught up now. I've had the I've had the pills. I'm fine. But uh, no, I just say look, well done to all the uh, nominees and everybody who gets an award this afternoon. I just and I would just like to say, you haven't been in the council for you know just over a year now. It is really really nice to work for a council that does things like this to recognize uh, people who are working their socks off, you know, so great to be recognized, but obviously uh, that goes across the whole of the teams across the service. No, thanks Simon for that. And as I say, much appreciated the work that's been done and well done to all three of the, of the nominees within, within champions of change. Uh, so thank you. Thank you, Jackie for Jackie Roper for all the work that you do. Thanks Alison and her team in terms of the EPs and thanks to the, the senior school improvement advisors, um, that we've got Sarah, Simon, Julie, Rachel, uh, working very hard under, under Steve's uh, guidance um, to do, uh, and of course, Jackie, who's recently come back to us as well. So well done uh, in terms of that work. So if we can have the next slide, please, uh, Chloe. And we move on to the top team award um, and the nominees are, And for everybody, you can see why I've never been asked to do the Oscars. So first nominees are the School Engagement and Business Development Team. And the next nominee is our SENS Deaf Instructors. And then the next nominees are our team, our SENART team. and our home to school transport team and our IAPT program, parent program coordinators. And the top team award highly commended are the 
the school engagement and business development team. So well done to them. And again, I don't know if we've got anybody on the call from that team who'd just like to give us a, a quick response to being highly commended in this category of top team. Hi, Andy. Um, there's myself, Mark, uh, Mel and Emma all on the call this afternoon. Um, Hi, so yeah, uh, thank you. I'm I'm thrilled to bits, and I'm and I'm sure they are. They've um, everyone. Well, they deserve, started, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's well deserved. They've showed sort of grit, determination, yeah. and and a, a kind of attitude. So yeah, that's brilliant. Thank you. Yeah, and it picks up on what I was saying to you earlier on uh, this morning. So well done, well yeah. done to all the team down yeah. down 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 at Chesney. It's much appreciated. Okay, moving on. Next, next slide, please. Nice to see some comments in the chat panel as well. Well done, everybody from Julie Mills. That's lovely. Thanks, Julie. Okay, and then the top team award, and the winner is Home to School Transport. So I don't know if we've got either Dave or Karen or anybody else from the team on the call. It's myself, Dave, and we've got Andy Coleman here from Home to School Transport. So. Hiya, Dave. Like a football manager, it's not about me, it's about my team. So we've, we've, we've worked hard and it's, it's nice to be recognised. It certainly is. I know that this is, this is a team that absolutely has worked um, so many hours and done so many good things, Dave. It's very well deserved. And I think just, just reflects what you've done to support young people um, across this period and getting them to school and getting them home from school. And it's been no mean feat um, during what has been really difficult times. So... Well done. Uh, it's re recognition of, of, of the really strong work that you've done. I hope um, you'll be able to proudly display, display the, 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 the certificate, et cetera, uh, and the winning award in the, in the office. So well done, to, well done to you. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, next um, we move on and we're gonna move to our excellent employee award and uh, I'm just going to switch out a full screen because I've got the details basically of, of, of each of each person as well when we get to that. So just moving swiftly down and until I get to the right place. Uh, and there we go. He's there. Excellent. So remember the excellent award, excellent employee award. This has been awarded to someone who's made a significant difference to the delivery of service. So just keep that in mind. Got lots of nominees in this particular category. So if we can just go to um, the next slide, please, um, Chloe. And I'm just gonna read off from the notes that Chloe's given me uh, of, the, of the different individuals. So I might be slightly out of sync with that as Chloe's clicking through, but I'm gonna go through the nominees. As you can see, there's quite a few of them. So first nominee is Angela Cardwell. And Angela has worked for the um, Educational Psychology Service for approximately 26 years. And just to say some of the things that colleagues have said about her, she's extremely diligent. She's held the team together. She's been a key point of contact for new members of staff. And she serves as a workplace buddy to assist new members. Next nominee is Andrew Ems. And um, prior to lockdown, Andrew was well known as the go-to person for recording, slicing, dicing, dissecting, and reassembling schools' performance data. But he's also now absolutely integral to our daily, my daily update in terms of his analysis of attendance data. Uh, we just couldn't work, um, do the, what we need to do without him. And the next nominee is Alison McCoy. Alison is our principal EP. Uh, she's already been on the call. Uh, and again, um, is a very caring, compassionate leader, um, consistently puts the well-being of her team at the forefront. And I know she's been integral, I think, to the, to the, to the continued success of the service and also making really strong links. And particularly um, the recent work that has been done around the um, well-being and education training. Um, Okay, and the next person we've got is Christine Dubber, and she received two nominations, and she's been the referrals officer for the virtual school for the last 15 years. Uh, she's very well thought of in the team. She's always happy to help and does so with a smile. She is amazing, is some of the comments that we've got about, about, about her. Um, next nominee is Denise Townend. 
And again, um, Denise has coordinated and managed pupils from five position provisions on one site, part of our special needs resource provisions team. She's worked all the school holidays from Easter 2020 and continue to support families in the summer holiday. So again, absolute dedication. Um, Jackie Martin is our next nominee. She's worked within the EP service again for 23 years, the admin team. Uh, she's been dedicated to the early years in the portage service, assisting them to organise delivery in a structured and well-organised manner. Jackie devotes her time to supporting practitioners, keeping accurate records, and is often the first point of contact for parents and agencies. Um, so well done. Um, she, she wasn't very well at the beginning of lockdown, but she's returned to, in July and she's immediately set about working with real uh, strength and vigour. So uh, thank you for that. Julie Mills, who's a member of our school advisory team, um, already got the, um, uh, an award already this, 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 this event, um, but she's exceptionally hardworking. I know that her colleagues would say that about her. I would say that about her as well. Julie leaves no stone unturned. She's very diligent, very detailed and supports schools tirelessly. So well done, Julie. Next nominee is Karen Godfrey. Um, Karen joined the service in the middle of June, in the middle of lockdown, as the Children's Complex Care Needs Team Administrator. So that means that her entire, entire period, she's had to work from home for the most part with only occasional visits to the Ofsted. Um, she's done, again, she's proactive in seeking out training opportunities. She's integrated well into the wider team. She's got a very cheery, can-do attitude. So well done, Karen. Um, great to have you on the team. Michelle Chester, uh, again, Michelle um, um, is part of uh, managing our SENART team. Um, they, feel, they all feel extremely privileged to have her managing and leading them. Um, I would echo that. Um, Michelle works so hard. Um, she, she, she really does um, uh, in terms of the, the work that SENART does. She supported and guided, guided us through the pandemic, that the team say. Um, and she's, she's a great leader. So well done, Michelle. Uh, we know 2020 has not been, the, not been the easiest of years <coughs> for yourself on a personal basis, but you've done, you've been a star, absolute star at work. So well done. Next nominee is Michelle Aston. Again, um, Michelle has a passion for early years send children. She personifies her aspiration. That every child should have the best possible start in life. Uh, she's currently leading a project which utilizes uh, how we can support and work with partners from education and health to develop a cohesive offer of support for our early years children with SEND. So well done, Michelle, for being nominated. Nikki Heald. Uh, Nikki joined again, someone who's joined the service in the middle of lockdown uh, as um, uh, an administration officer, which has meant she's had to learn the new role entirely whilst working from home. But again, she's become a great asset to the team. Customer service skills are second to none. She handles calls from the public and colleagues with professionalism. She's integrated into the team really well. She's very popular and she shows a great deal of support and empathy for all members. And then finally, we've got Sue Jackson. And Sue has worked for the, uh, again, the EP service admin for many years. In fact, since they were based in Chantry House in Wakefield Town Centre. Um, again, due to some sort of staff absences, it was just Sue and another member of the team who were left to perform uh, the entire workload. And again, she worked tirelessly um, to ensure that all of the statutory, statutory work was delivered on time. Uh, she has personal care and responsibilities and she's had to balance this alongside her work, but she's always in regular contact with the rest of the team. She's always there with a smile and words of encouragement for colleagues. So well done, Sue, who's our final uh, nominee in terms of this um, particular category, which is our excellent employee so if i can move on to the next slide please so excellent employee award highly commended is michelle chester so well done michelle that's a absolutely fantastic accolade uh, from all of your peers highly commended i don't know if you're on the call if you if we can get a quick response from you hi andy here i am um, good, good thank you. you, thank you to this team that nominated me. Um, it's been a tough year, a really tough year. That I've got any easier today because I've been self isolated for ten days today because my husband's been diagnosed with COVID today. But just congratulations to everybody else, and, and just thank you for the team for the nomination, really. 
Thank you, Michelle, and thank you for everything that you do. Well done. Uh, I can see there's lots of, again, nice comments coming in on the chat panel, um, a chat box for yourself as well. So well done, awesome work. That's really good. Okay, next slide, please, Chloe. Excellent Employee Award, and the winner is... Andrew Ems, well done, Andrew. So have we... Have we got oh, a little bit of response there? Yeah, you see, that, that's obviously not me laughing there. That and, and no, I was, I was slightly worried, Andrew. There, that the, the your voice had gone up an octave or two. Well, but I, I, so well done, well done. I'm thank really pleased. Thank you very pleased. much. Thank you. That's that's really kind. So thank you very much to, to whoever nominated me, and thank you for the the very kind comments that were at the beginning. So that was really really nice to hear. So thank you ever so much, and well done to everybody else for. For, for nominations and everybody else's hard work as well. So thank you. No, thanks, Andrew. And just, just to say, I mean, uh, we couldn't do it without you and the instant responses that we get from you when we get, you know, very detailed questions, often from, from Beata or senior leaders in the council or from elected members around data and what we need to provide. And you're very, very quick to provide the summaries and make sense of it for us. So we're really, really grateful. So congratulations on being our excellent employee no oh, so thank well you very done. much thank you no problem okay and so i think that that um draws us to the end um of of our of our virtual awards um and and just before we go and congratulations and well done to everybody i'd just like to thank um chloe slater who's been absolutely diligent in the background in the way that chloe has set this meeting up and providing the notes for me um, doing the doing the slides and, and sorting out um, how how we can have music on at the start, even if she wasn't quite sure who M people were, but she does now and recognised recognise the song. So well done, Chloe, as well. Congratulations um, to everybody who's who's won a, a team. You really are um, superstars across the board. All the nominees, uh, you should feel really really proud of yourself. It's great to see. Um, nice things said about you and I think things are being recognised for all of the hard work you've done. I'm immensely proud of the team that we have. I feel um, humble, humble um, that I can lead a team that's as talented as this um, and, and I'm really pleased for everybody. Um, I know how hard people have been working since March. I know that people are absolutely on their, on their knees. Um, it is holiday time coming soon i know it's slightly different but there is some holiday time so do take chance to to try christmas isn't always the best time but to, to try and um take some time for yourselves and just just relax um and bask in the glory of, of having done a fantastic job and that that's been recognized by your peers which i think is something that's really powerful so well done everybody um and it's nice to see, oh, I can see some faces now and, and not slides. So sorry about the slight technical hitch at the, at the start where the uh, middle-aged man completely lost the plot. But, you know, it wouldn't, be, it wouldn't be live if you didn't know that, you know, if it, was, if it was over rehearsed, everybody would just be bored with it. So I think it's, it's far better that it, it came across as being slightly, slightly unprepared. Um, but we'll go, go from there. Um, and, and so... I'm just going to finish on the fact, just picking up on, it is good to work with, with such a strong team, such a talented team. I hope everybody's um, really benefited from, from slightly getting together like we are uh, virtually. It's not the same as face-to-face, -face, but we will be able to do that in 2021. But just to thank everybody who's, who's taken the time, I think, to be on this meeting as well. Um, I can't see everybody's faces, but I can see some of them. And, um, and as I say, feel immensely proud and humble to lead such a talented team. So go away and enjoy yourselves. All the nominees, you should feel really, really proud of yourself. Um, and, and, and thanks for joining us. So I think on that point, we'll, um, we'll let everybody go on and, and carry on with the day job and uh, get the Christmas decks up or whatever else people have still got to do. So well done, everyone. Congratulations to everybody um, and look forward to seeing you soon. Okay, take care.